I'm in the Azure portal here, as you can see, I've already staged a 2004 VM here, Ubuntu 01, version number 2004. If you wanted to create a brand new uh, Ubuntu Pro VM, there's two ways to do it. You can do it through, through the UI. We have 2404 Ubuntu Pro conveniently here in our quick select, or you can choose from a number of marketplace images. all the way back to 1404. Make sure you pick an official um, image from Canonical. But let's get back to our VM here. I'm already uh, SSH'd into the VM right here. You'll see that it's 2004. Uh, we're gonna do a quick pro status just to show that we are not attached. If you were in an older version, before 2004, you would actually have to install the uh, Ubuntu Pro client. As you can see, it's already installed here. So all we have to do now is go back to our cloud shell. You can do this from the Azure CLI as well. Um, Any way you want, I like the cloud shell. And we are going to use the AZ VM update command to pass it the license type of Ubuntu Pro. So resource group, machine name, license type. Let's see how fast this runs. It can take a minute or two for this to finish. All right, finished pretty quickly this time around. And you'll be able to see that here in the return metadata, we have now successfully set the license type Ubuntu Pro. So now let's log into the VM. All right, and I'm just gonna run this pro command again real quick. And you'll see that we still are not attached to our pro subscription, so it just updates the metadata. In order to actually attach your subscription, you have to run pro attach. It's gonna take a while while it enables all the repos, etc. And as you can see now, we are enabled for Ubuntu Pro. That's all there's to it, no reboot required. Last thing I'm gonna show is if you wanted to, you could create that license type at create time. So I'm gonna create a 2404. That's what I have in my little script. But just passing it that Ubuntu Pro license type at create time, as simple as that.